the show. So. And you think she just totally used Rose? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Are you close with Rose then? Like uh, now that- Me and Rose have always, um, we, we've never really had like major beef. Like I've been to her birthdays. I've been to, you know, historically, like since I right. met her. Me, Rose and Gio were the first three people to be hired by Jason for his OC office. So we're like the OGs and um, yeah, like me and Rose never, you know, it was annoying season one that she kind of caused- drama to get on the show but by the end of season one i'm like listen like whatever like they did it, it worked G- good for them you know um and yeah i kind of i do feel for her i feel for rose in that you know she it's not no one ever likes being used and abused you know what i mean so no they don't so yeah i uh yeah well yes i i could see why <laughs> she would feel used then <laughs> Another big issue of season two was, you know, you in the office, you know, you kissed Tyler. Yes. That wasn't an issue for anyone other than Kayla, who seemed to think it was the same thing as what she tried to do a year and a half before when the guy was married. It was a year and a half before and it was, you know, multiple unwanted advances on him that was the issue (laughs) and so yeah to bring that up as like this expose it wasn't a secret people in the office knew yet was it appropriate to do it in the office no there was no one there we didn't we didn't think anyone was there it was a kiss before we left separate cars separate homes like nothing nothing went any further than a drunken kiss and for that to be brought up Weeks later, you know, at Geo's celebration of self, uh, for a storyline and for for the, it was just kind of like this is not the same thing. I mean, can I just live through you vicariously through a second? Like, how is Tyler as a kisser? Uh, I don't really remember it that clearly, but I, I it it wasn't offensive in any way. You know, well that's I mean <laughs> that's great that he wasn't an offensive yeah, kisser. Yeah, and it's, honestly, it's not changed our friendship at all. Like it it happened. We we both went to our separate homes. The next morning, it was like, did that what well, that happened? And he's like, yeah, that happened. And we've been the same ever since. There's been no. It didn't change our friendship. We didn't. There was never any question that it was ever going to happen again or do be any further. It was just like, it was a drunken kiss, whatever. And you think what Kayla brought it up just for a storyline? I think that was partly to do with it, but I think, you know, maybe she does truly believe that it it's the same thing or worse than what she did, which I can't fathom how you would be able to, but she seems to have very strong opinions on that. And the fact that she didn't kiss him, I mean, because he said no, because he was married and he said no multiple times. It's like, she almost thinks because I actually kissed the guy, it makes it worse than what she was trying to do. It, 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 I, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> well, isn't she also well? Isn't she also saying? And I could. Be, I don't know the exact timeline, but isn't she also saying like, well, he technically wasn't divorced when you kissed him. Well, he wasn't divorced, no. But he was. He was single. He was separated. They right. were, you know. But right. that's the whole point. It's like for me, my divorce lasted four years, and I had a live-in boyfriend in that four years. I had multiple boyfriends in that four years, and it's like. Yeah, I can't marry that person because legally I'm I'm going through this process, but I am a single woman. Like, so I don't know. Maybe because she's never been married. I, I don't know. People have different opinions. And but- maybe I'm wrong. I'm just thinking, I mean, that's where I think her argument is. I mean, I'm not, I'm not taking sides here. I'm just saying. I mean, I like I have heard obviously a lot of different opinions on the subject and of people who have a brain are like, yeah, the guy's single. Like what, like if anybody knows anything about divorce is that it's can be a very long process and it's kind of like, you know, you're not, you know, yeah, you're not free to marry someone else, but you know, once you're, I don't know. I mean, that's the way I think. And I stand by 
my actions that I didn't do anything wrong other than, yeah, probably not appropriate to do it in the office, but I'm sure worse things have happened in, you know, the offices. <laughs> I don't know. So you don't, so there's no apology coming for to Kayla from you. What, what, but what, what for? Like what for? <laughs> like I still, I still haven't got an answer to like, why? Like, what do I need to apologize for? And she's like, she says something like I crucified her season one. It was one conversation that she started. She took me into the vault and started that conversation. And I was like, yeah, I this is terrible. And then she, you know, cried a lot season one and was like, you know, whatever. There was no crucifixion. There was no me bringing it up time and time again. It was like, okay, yeah, we'll, we'll be cordial. Like, you know my thoughts on the situation because you fucking just took me into the wall and asked me. Right. Like, there was no further anything. So crucifixion. season two, it was like, there was, there was no crucifixion. Like, I, like, we had one conversation that you asked, that you started, and that was it. Like, season one finale, when Rose and Jarvis were kept bringing it up, me and Hall were actually defending Kayla. We were like, listen, why are you bringing this up again? It, Kayla's crying. <laughs> like, stop. Like, this is just rehashing old stuff that we've we've all got over at this point. Right. So, yeah, like, season one did end with you guys defending her, and then season two, but so then it I was seems like, like there, was no, there was no, there was no crucifixion. There was no, that, that, that's in your, that's in, that's something that's going on up there that, you know, Maybe she got backlash online for her behavior and she kind of blamed me for that and she needed some, well, she's bad too because she kissed him. And I'm like, yeah, but it's a year and a half later and the guy's like, so right, I it's a different. Yeah. Do you think Kayla owes Brittany Snow an apology? Uh, I mean, I, I'm not one to comment on that. Like, I, I don't think, I think it's kind of, the, the time's passed for that. There, you know, I don't think it's necessary because of, you know, obviously things that have transpired since and the, right. the you know. That's fair enough. I mean, it's you know. their divorce, you know, it's yeah. over now. Yeah. We've moved on. So, no comment on that. Yeah, I know. I mean, that, <laughs> that makes sense. I'm just asking. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. I'm not, I'm forcing you to answer one way or another. I'm just, no, but I mean, that makes sense. Do you think, because there was a lot of criticism online, do you think that the day that Tyler announced his divorce from Britney, that Alex Hall and Tyler were at an influencer event together in Dubai and they were photographed? Um, That was... Um, a lot of people went to that event. It was a it was a paid job in Dubai. Both Alex and right. Tyler took plus ones, separate plus.